let's suppose we have a loop of wire that's in the shape of a square or a rectangle, and we are trying to push it up closer and closer toward a long wire carrying a current I, which is constant. We could ask, what will be the direction of the current that's induced in the loop of wire as a result of being shoved up closer to the long straight wire? This induced current will come about because of Faraday's law of induction, which says that whenever there's a change in magnetic flux, there will be a voltage induced in the loop to oppose that change in magnetic flux. The magnetic flux into the loop comes about because there's a magnetic field mu naught i over 2 pi r located around the, dis the wire, where r is the distance of the wire. This magnetic field points out of the page when you're above the wire, as I've shown up here, and it points into the page when you're at the location of the loop, which I've indicated down here. That's because the magnetic field around the wire follows the right-hand rule. If I place my thumb along the wire such that it's, my thumb points in the direction of the current, then my right-hand fingers curl around in the, in the sense or the direction of the magnetic field, which would be out of the page above the wire and into the page down below. Notice that as we move the loop of wire closer and closer to the long wire, the magnetic field is increasing. And that's because the magnetic field depends like one over the distance from the wire. So as the distance gets smaller, the magnitude of the magnetic field increases. This tends to increase the flux pointing into the page that's going through the loop. As a result, Faraday's law of induction tries to oppose this. It tries to create a flux out of the page coming out of the loop. How do we achieve this? Well, again, using the right-hand rule, if we would like a flux out of the page coming at the location of the loop, that means we want our thumb of our right hand to point out of this piece of paper. In order to have that happen, our fingers must curl around counterclockwise, and that will give us the direction of the induced current. The induced current comes counterclockwise in this picture so as to create an outward flux to oppose the increase in inward flux. If we would like, we can consider also what happens to the forces on this loop as we push it closer and closer to the long wire. We are exerting a force up in this picture, pushing the loop toward the long wire. But if we remember that the current is flowing counterclockwise, then each segment of this wire has a force on it from the fact that there's a current flowing in the loop and there's a magnetic field all around the wire, the loop, because of the long wire. The left segment and the right segment of this loop each have a force on them, but they cancel one another because they point in opposite directions. The top segment of this wire has a force on it that's the largest of all the segments because it is closest to the long, to the long wire and therefore the magnetic field at that location is the largest. I at the top of this loop points to the left and if we take our fingers and point them along the left and then curl them into the page to map where the magnetic field is in I L cross B, then we find that our thumb points straight down. and That's going to be the induced force on that length of wire from the induced current. Notice that this downward force opposes the upward force from us pushing. There is also certainly a small force acting on the lower segment of wire, and that's again an IL cross B type force. However, it must be noticed that that lower loop of wire is further away from the long wire than the upper segment of this wire. Therefore, the magnetic field is lower at the location of the lower segment of this wire, and therefore the force on it is lower. So while it does contribute, it is a lesser force than the force on the wire at the top of the top segment of this loop. And this means that the downward force that we have indicated in this picture is the dominant force that will be felt on this loop. It will try to push back and forbid us from pushing the loop, the loop toward the long wire. In that sense, once again, Faraday's law of induction has that minus sign, which indicates that the direction of the current 
is always to oppose the motion that you're trying to set in place.